My media product uses, develops and challenges all aspects of conventions of real media product. The music video uses the typical conventions of a music video by using similar colours such as orange and green, the setting in a wood and the way the character dresses within the music video. Looking at the four technical areas, the mise-en-scene has been adapted to convey the conventions of indie style music videos. For example, the costume is indie style but wouldn't often be worn in the woods, therefore contradicts the genre and setting. The colours of the dress connote innocence and therefore stereotype a typical female which is innocence and purity, as it is simple and pure. The props used can also fall under the category of using and developing conventions because the guitar is associated with a typical indie video. Other intertextual references are to Alice in Wonderland. This is shown as the character is wearing a bracelet and the location which is in the woods. The stop motion can also be linked to this as it occurs in the book but inside. It would challenge the conventions as it has no reference to actual Wonderland but uses similar features like the teacup, falling down a hole and being in the woods. The overall lighting in the woods is bright but mostly consists of orange and green. These colours help convey the indie genre as they are similar to trees. Postmodernism is used in the video as either of Alice in Wonderland book is used but I have changed it so that there is a different setting and has our own stop motion story inside it. Also it has been used in the fashion sense as a bracelet worn to remind the audience of the reference to Alice in Wonderland. This has been changed from the original necklace to a bracelet, a developed and used idea. In my research I have looked at Taylor Swift's Safe and Sound music video. The genre was indie slash folk. The genre and conventions used were based into which I place the theme of my media product. Real music videos in the indie genre are mostly use typical clothing like jeans, t-shirts and converse, but my music video develops the typical conventions because they are all white slash cream colour to show the pureness. This could also be linked in with the lyrics as they are illustrated through the video. To my media product we can apply Goodwin's theory as the lyrics are amplified by the visuals. There are close-ups of the main character in the video, there are voyeuristic scenes which are shown by hands and hair close-ups, the camera movements are slow and steady paced linking into the indie genre and also amplifying the music and visuals. Another feature is that the video also includes props of an indie slash rock genre such as the guitar. At the editing stage of the music video I changed the speed of the beginning of the clip so that the music is introduced slowly and gradually builds up. This is a feature often used in, in music videos and also uses conventions of the indie genre and forms of real music videos. Other editing techniques I've used is applying transitions so that each clip blurs into another. This allows the video to flow and continue the storyline. My magazine product links to typical conventions of an advertisement by containing the band name, song name, release date, ratings and logos of where to buy the album. After taking the images from the magazine, I edited them to match the colours which are used in the video. These are white, yellow and green. The digipack uses typical aspects of existing digipacks. For example, the use of branding has been conveyed by using the same font styles and images. These images and the overall appearance down to the alignment of text is similar to existing ones in my research and then fall into the category of indie slash rock genre. To get the idea of branding across through all three texts, I had to make sure that aspects of the music video and magazine were used in the digipack. The main image was of trees and illustrations. Overall my media product uses but also challenges the typical conventions of a real music product and conforms to an indie genre. This is because the technical areas, conventions used and branding are similar to existing products. <laughs>